Hello people, very quickly let us look at this Employees State Insurance Act, ESI Act, okay, 1948. So, uh, this is an act, Employee State Insurance Act, 1948. It has been amended so many times, okay. Basically, for what is it? For medical benefits. It is, uh, it provides for certain cash and medical benefits, okay. So, what is it? It is a health insurance, social security and health insurance. Okay, what does it provide? Cash and medical benefits. All apart from this, it provides a lot of benefits like sickness benefit, maternity benefit, employment, injury benefit, etc. What is the scope of this act? It acts, uh, it applies to whole of India, all power using factories or seasonal factories wherein 10 or more people were employed. Okay, so all power using factories or seasonal factories where 10 or more people are employed. This does not include mines, railways and defense. Remember this. It does not include mines, um, railways, defense, etc. So, uh, what and all are there here? Small factories employing 10 or more persons, whether power is used in the process of manufacturing or not. Here they said all power using factories. Okay. Shops, uh, hotels, restaurants, uh, cinemas, theaters, road, motor, transport, newspaper, and some places like private medical and educational institutions employing 20 or more persons in some states. Not everywhere. This is uh, in selected places, uh, medical and educational institutions. It is for all employees, okay, like manual, clerical, supervisory, technical, anybody. Their salary cutoff is there. They should be uh, earning 21,000 per month or less, right? They are getting up to, they are getting up to 21,000 rupees per month. This seems to be the cutoff. So, who is it under? This is under the Ministry of Labor, Union Ministry of Labor, okay. Actually, this is under an autonomous body called ESI Corporation. So, two words, uh, two terminologies you have to know here, ESI Corporation, Ministry of Labor. So, there is some chairman, vice chairman, standing committee, lot of details are there here. You can look at this, some principal officers. Those principal officers are insurance commissioner, medical commissioner, financial commissioner, actuary. How many people are benefiting by this? About 8 crore people as on that date, 2015. So basically it is around 200 lakh employees, okay, and their families, 200 lakh. That's like 2 crore employees, right? So family of these 2 crore employees, around 8 crore people. So these people, guys, they have their own hospitals. They have 145 hospitals, okay. Now coming to finance guys, this is very important. The employer contributes actually 3.25, okay, that is the updated 3.25 is employer and employee will contribute 0.75. It adds up to what? 4, right? Remember the update uh, here, employer contributes 3.25 and employee 0.75, okay? Then benefits to employees. So what are the benefits to employees? Medical benefits there. Sickness benefit is there, maternity benefit, disablement benefit, for the dependents there is some benefit, for funeral expenses there is benefit and for uh, rehabilitation there is benefit. Say these, you have to remember these, medical benefit, all the insurance and uh, if they fall ill etc. Sickness benefit, they will get some leaves, maternity if they get pregnant, disablement if they get disabled, dependent benefit if the death happens of the person who is insured, the dependents will get some benefit and they will also, there will be funeral expenses that is given. Rehabilitation allowance in case uh, the person needs to be rehabilitated. Coming to medical benefit, guys. So you have what in all this here? You have uh, outpatient care, drugs. They will get dressing, specialist services. They will get in all branches of medicine, specialist services in all branches of medicine, radiological, pathological, right? All this. Then immunization services. They'll get maternity. You will say antenatal, natal, postnatal, family planning, emergency services. They Along with emergency right of ambulance services, health education, they will get an inpatient. Once you wrote outpatient here, you can write inpatient here. Okay. So all these come under what? Medical benefit. Now here they have a direct and indirect. Direct means you saw they have their own hospitals, etc. Indirect means there will be a registered medical practitioners designated as insurance medical practitioners. Okay. So here they have other medical facilities, dentures, hearing aids, spectacles. Okay. They are provided free to the patients who are incapacitated due to employment injury. So they have spent around 4,058 crores in this year on medical benefit, this, this ESI corporation. Wow. Guys, let's continue with what now? 
medical over sickness next sickness benefit you're going to get cash payment uh, in case of sickness so what type of sickness if they have any uh, sickness they will get 91 days of benefit okay but he should his sickness should be duly certified by an insurance medical officer 91 days means what around three months or more than that three yeah three months right Extended sickness benefit uh, for people some having long-term diseases. For long-term diseases, they'll get extended sick sickness benefit. In addition to the 91 days, they will get uh, this, okay? For a maximum period of two years, uh, they will get this uh, sickness benefit, uh, extended sickness benefit. But these people should also be employed uh, already for two years, okay? What are the diseases con uh, covered? Long-term diseases, you have infectious like tuberculosis, leprosy, AIDS, neoplasms, all cancers. Diabetes with uh, retinopathy, diabetic foot, not simply diabetes mellitus. Then nervous system disorders, you can remember Parkinson's, myasthenia gravis. Then cardiovascular diseases like um, myocardial infarction with ejection less than 45%. You can remember this congestive heart failure, coronary heart disease. Cardiomyopathies, heart disease with surgical intervention. Chest diseases like bronchiectasis, interstitial lung disease, chronic uh, pul obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, okay? Then uh, digestive cirrhosis of liver, orthopedic like dislocation of vertebra, right? Then psychosis like schizophrenia, dementia. So two years he will get some extended sickness benefit. Others like chronic renal failure, Raynaud's disease, Burgess disease. If he has more than 20% of burns with infection or complication. So burns also, some type of burns, not all burns, okay? So what and all is there here? So that was it about extended sickness benefit. Now coming to enhanced sickness benefit. Guys, pay attention here. Under sickness benefit, what and all you have? You have sickness benefit, extended sickness benefit. Now we are talking about enhanced sickness benefit. This is for vasectomy and tubectomy. If tubectomy is undergone 14 days for that lady and if vasectomy is undergone 7 days um, uh, for that man, uh, here they are giving full wages, not just 50% of the average wages. Here they are giving what? Full wages, full, full wages. Okay, focus here, full wages. Now let's move on. After uh, medical benefit, after sickness benefit, now we are moving on to maternity benefit. It is again payable in cash. So this is just like maternity leave. You can say this person is getting for 26 weeks. 26 weeks means how many months? That's for 6.5 months. Interesting. So they have increased all this now. Okay. Again, here it is full wages, about full wages. The benefit is allowed about full wages. Okay. 5,000 per confinement they are talking about. What happens if there's a miscarriage? They will get it for six months, six weeks. That is 1.5 months. Okay. Now we are moving on guys, we finished what and all, we finished uh, medical benefit, sickness benefit, then maternity benefit, now we will move to disablement, after disablement death, so there will be dependent benefit, after dependent benefit what will we see, rehabilitation benefit, I think I am missing one more here, it should be totally 6 right, yeah so death, so funeral expenses, that will come here, so we finished medical sickness, maternity, now we are going to dip, disablement, okay, where are we here? Disablement benefit, uh, again here, if there is temporary or permanent disablement, okay. As a result, a result of employment injury as well as occupational diseases. So, the rate of temporary disablement, uh, disablement benefit, they are giving 90% of the wages. If they are disabled, temporary, temporarily disabled, they will get 90% of the wages as long as this, there is temporary disablement. Permanent uh, disablement, that means life pension. I think they have to stay at home, right? The insured person is given life pension, okay? That is which is calculated basis on the basis of loss of earning capacity. Now let's move on to dependence benefit. So in case of death, now we are moving on to the death of the insured person, right? Uh, so there is death. So who will get the benefit? The dependents. Dependents will get till what age? Until they are 18, okay? Until they are 18, they'll get what? Pension at the rate of 90% of the wages, okay? So, in case of death of the insured person, they are giving funeral expenses also. Funeral expenses, the amount not exceeding uh, rupees 10,000. Okay. All these values could have changed anyways. Rehabilitation. Now, we are moving on to rehabilitation for what month? Uh, in case he leaves his job, that's what this looks like. Rehabilitation. After permanent disablement or retirement, he can continue to get all this uh, at a monthly payment of rupees 10. 
the injured person and his family members continue to get medical treatment okay fine after he gets uh, retired what will he do he will pay rupees 10 per month and get the medical uh, facilities not sure if he'll get all the treatment at rupees 10 anyways so what will happen if you have a factory and you take this esi so basically if you take this esi you, uh, esi will take care of all the work man's compensation act maternity benefit everything will come under that only you don't have to do anything extra you will also get income tax rebate you will have a healthy workforce also because they will be getting regular checkups or something they will always be going to opd in uh, inpatient they'll be getting their treatment etc right they are exempt you will be exempt from payment of medical allowance to employees and their dependents but the thing is you are paying 3.25 percent right employer will be paying 3.25 percent and employee will be paying 0.5 percent so yes you have to pay something so let's close this uh, video on esi act yes it's coming under esi corporation and uh, the union ministry of labor yes labor basically this covers all factories which use power uh, or um, 10 people or more shops hotel restaurants cinema theaters um, road motor transport establishment newspaper establishment extra so what are the benefits uh, benefits to employees will be medical benefit sickness benefit maternity benefit disablement benefit dependent benefit funeral expenses rehabilitation <clears throat> medical benefit direct indirect you saw outpatient care inpatient care spe specialties uh, emergency ambulance etc sickness you saw three types sickness extended enhanced maternity benefit you saw 26 weeks disablement um, temporary permanent etc dependence benefit if there is death un that until the children become 18 they will get some 90 percent of the wages as pension or something funeral expenses not exceeding 10,000 rehabilitation allowances once they retire or they are disabled and they go away they they can pay rupees 10 per month and avail the benefits then we saw the benefit to employers exemption from the workman's compensation exemption from maternity benefit uh, they'll get rebate under income tax healthy workforce they will be exempt from paying medical allowance etc there's actually under the sickness benefit they are saying that it's updated to 70 percent of the wages and extended is 80 percent enhanced you know anyways vasectomy tubectomy 100 percent but sickness is 70 and extended is 80 percent now if you want you can remember that then for funeral expenses is updated to 15,000 as of now, okay? 